Right, do you know what? We've we've come back again recording slightly earlier than intended. Um, I had a nap. I sorted out my inventory and stuff. But then I just had a little little scanneroo. Look at this shit. There's a couple of mines just in like a cupboard. Fuck it out. I need to be checking out the cupboards at uh, at, at tube stations more because apparently. There's just fucking mines lying around all over the gap. As you can see, I am kitted out to shit. I've got 17 rounds for the carbine um, and the carbine itself. I've got about a billion and one health items. I've just got a random flare. I don't know why that's ended up back here, but it has. Um, some explosives and stuff. I've got 42 handgun bullies in my thing and then 40 in my backpack. So I've got 82 handgun bullets. And I'm going to pop these two mines in there. So... I'm getting pretty geared up, pretty kitted out, um, so that'll probably make my life easier later on in the game. Now, we're going to Bricklay Markets to get the book, the book which is like Decontagion e Curium or whatever, um, some name there or thereabouts, uh, by Mr. D himself, the big D-man, who has been like, sort of like the fucking worshipped hero of this game. Um, you know, because he was so clever and stuff. Figuring bits and bobs out. Um, are you not? Uh, no, you're not. No, I don't like it. Um, how do I fucking... Feels like I should be able to get in there, doesn't it? Wait, I have a lockpick, don't I? Yes, I do! Christ alive! God, there's always stuff like this. And that's one of the things that kind of makes this game quite cool. And I like about this game. Um, and I think it's a delicate balancing act, and I think this game actually gets it right, where there are bits that you have to go back through the game to find. Oh, that's another upgrade. Love it. Um, there are certain bits where you will obviously need something that you get later in the game so to, to uh, gain access to. God, I'm talking like that. Um... So obviously with this bit, we've discovered this room ages ago because this was like the very first shortcut we unlock. Um, but we can't get into it without the lockpick, which we get later on in the game. And I quite like that mechanic in games, actually. I used to not like it so much when it was this sort of linear, I guess. I guess it's not linear because you have to go back. Um, but it is linear in a sense because... Yeah, so that, that fucking doorway that was blocked off previously now will not be blocked off. We'll go up the ladder and just have a little peek each at what's going on out there, just to see, make sure we don't get overrun. Um, we could, if we had the silence, we'll probably thin a few of these bad boys out, but it's pretty irrelevant. There's only two wandering around, really. Um, hello? Are you, like, underneath me? Where are you? You sound pretty, you sound pretty close. So... She hasn't ended up back here, has she? No. No, we're fine. Oh, that was fucking loud. That was fucking loud, that was. Where are you? Where are you? There you are, you little slag. Oh, this is annoying. Oh my god, who's swinging? I just heard someone swing at me. Where, 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 where? Are you coming up the ladder? Oh my god, you are! What the hell? I did not know these guys could climb ladders. Holy fuck. I did not even know that that was a possibility. Oh my god, they're all coming. They're all climbing under. They want to climb up my ladder. Leave me alone. It's my ladder. I like it here. It's like, I'll just stay up here and whack them as they come up. Hello, sir. I have a surprise for you. Surprise! Stupid little bitch. Right, yeah, any more? Any more? Want to come up the ladder of doom? Oh my god, you still alive? Sir, I really, I really do appreciate your perseverance, but come on now. Right, while we're waiting up here, um, yeah, I'll go back to what I was talking about. He's glitched out, so we'll move around a bit. Hopefully he can figure it out. No, I think he's screwed. Oh, he will figure it out. Um, I didn't used to like this sort of mechanic of upgrades when it was so linear. It's like, you go through the game and you're like, oh, I can't do this. It's really frustrating that I can't do this arbitrarily just because, you know, the game hasn't unlocked all of the mechanics for me yet. Um, yes, now you may die. Because um, I felt like it was a bit linear, because it's just like, okay, well, I know that, like, I have to go through the game, go through the game, go through the game, get to a point, got it. 
go back and clear up a few bits and pieces and then continue back on with the game and you just kind of rinse and repeat that however i actually don't mind that anyway as a mechanic now it the inherent mechanic doesn't frustrate me anymore and um, because i like the idea of progression it's kind of cool because it's like i don't get frustrated anymore with that idea of like i can't complete everything right now um, which is, I think, where some of the frustration stems from, from a mechanic like that. Um, whereas now I kind of appreciate it, it's progression, it keeps the game interesting and stuff, the game kind of develops as you go along, etc, etc. Um, and I think this game implements it quite well, where in some games it feels irritating because you have to go back through a load of areas you've already cleared, and quite often they'll be empty in other games, so there's no, like threat to going back through them you're just going back through them arbitrarily for the sake of collecting shit that you didn't get to collect before um we'll have a little read of this newspaper while i ran on whereas in this game most of the time you like we've just seen there you will come back across things that you needed anyway could the blight affect house prices that's definitely not the newspaper i picked up like i saw the newspaper i picked up uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure we did that, didn't we? <laughs> nice. Nice! The Blight. So 2012, all this shit went down, apparently, which is roughly when this game was released, I think. Um, and yeah, so that takes away the fact that you come across most of this shit just going back through the game anyway, like, doing what you need to do to progress. You don't have to go out of your way and return to areas to discover shit, um, which I like. Um, I like the balance of it. There is a few bits and pieces that you don't have to go sort of out of your way to make sure you got, but most of it is just sorted by just progressing the game. You are what you eat in a... <laughs> That's kind of cool. Um, I didn't notice that first time I played through the game that I can remember. Right. Um, that's one of the frustrations of this game. You'll notice this sort of connecty bit is used a lot. Like, sort of like part of a tube station, kind of, that you climb down into and through and through a smashed bit of wall that happens to just be the perfect size for a human being. Um, you'll see that kind of connecty area, just, just joining two air main areas together. You'll see that used a lot. Um, which is, again, why I go back to this analogy of it's like a tech demo. It's like they didn't finish it, they did all the bits that were sort of key to the actual game and the gameplay and showing off what this game could or should be, and then just the, you know, unnecessary bits like, oh, areas that join stuff together, like, oh, we don't need to fucking show that off perfectly, you know, to all these investors or whatever. You know, we'll just fucking use the same area 58 times. Um, yeah, that's sort of where that ana this analogy becomes kind of apparent again. Um, other things that I wanted to talk about that I should have talked about last episode. Um, first off, scanner upgrade. Dopity dope. D um, hello? I did a scan and you didn't seem to come up on it, sir. Oh, you got some chocolate? Give me that chocolate. Give me that chocolate, boy. Mm. Um, yeah, see, look, it's pretty much the exact same connecting area again uh, on both sides, which is interesting. Um, it just looks too similar. Just even fucking, like, just a few different assets. You could make the... You could make the actual area pretty much the same, texture-wise. Just throw in, like, change the seating arrangement, you know? Fucking throw in a few different bits and pieces to just, like... It doesn't take a lot to trick us into thinking that what we're seeing is different. Are you scavenging for supplies or what? The pickings around here won't be very rich. Oh, yeah, because the properties know what we're doing. to fend for themselves. Abandoned by the government, the so-called public servants, who all hot-footed it to Westminster and the palace instead. That lot of good it did them, eh? <laughs> yeah. Lol. Fat lot of good it did them, they died, haha. -ha. What yeah, a bitch. <laughs> that's exactly why this country's gone to shite. People partying when they should have been prepping. Ooh, hang on, mate. <laughs> I love the way that the guy named the prepper, all he can fucking talk about is prepping. <laughs> prepping for the apocalypse. He's a fucking, he's got a one-track mind, this guy. Um, anyway, yeah, passive scanning, super fucking useful. I, uh, you know, I think you got, oh, hello. Does that mean this motherfucker is alive? I'm just gonna bash his head, head in a bit. 
I mean, he's definitely not alive now, is he? Because I fucking mashed his little head in. Um, is there going to be something just over on the other side of here? Whoa, I don't like it. Nah, we're good. Um, some fucking fat tunes, though, whatever it is. Wait, I just heard a blong as if I'd gone over some... Nope, that's just a blong when you open it up. Okie dokie! Oh, there was something there, though. No, there wasn't. Jesus Christ, I'm going stupid. Um, I'm going stupid. Um, oh, fuck me, fuck me. Where are you, where are you, where are you? Oh my god, you're above me. Oh, I don't like it. Oh, I don't want to get, like, bit. Oh, oh hello. There's a lot of peeps around here. Yes, get some little head smashy. I will get you with the with the bits and the boops and the... Oh, you got Right. Oh my god, that was a strange noise for killing a zombie. Door's barred, that door is open. Okie dokie, any loo up there? I feel like there should be, but I don't think there is. Hmm. Hmm. Curiouser and curiouser. Let's have a little look. Up here, anything going on? Anything going on? No, nothing going on. Right, let's uh, open it up and have a little fucking peek then. I wonder if that would explode. God, there is a fucking shed load of fucking zombies. Anyone else survived? Okay, maybe not everyone knows about these prophecies, but to be so blind when Armageddon is in your face, I despair. Okay, so I could head up into the house, or I can head through here, which is like a warehouse bit. I beam, don't need it, just need enough light to whack this little woman into next week. Let's finish it. Anyone towards me? No. Oh, oh my god, there's a fair few of them wandering about here, isn't there? And there. Right, let's do some scans. Lots of infected. A flare, don't care. Flare, don't care. I could actually probably bypass a lot of the combat in this area. But as I've kind of alluded to before, I don't know, the combat in this game ain't that in that tough. Uh, if you're careful and make sure you don't get cornered and all that shit, um, it's not too bad. Do I have anything that will deal with him quickly and easily? Try that. Oh my god, you're coming. No, 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 we're going to just go with what we know. Oh my god, fucking Jesus. Hey Zeus, you see what I mean about not being prepared? Gosh. Uh, yeah, that's actually all that was. I wasn't. I didn't fuck that up. I was just. I was showing you guys. I was doing a. Sir? Is there any reason you're fucking trying to be the first zombie on the moon? Look at him! Jesus Christ! Houston, we have a problem! This guy's getting his head bashed in. Oh my god, yep, he's not gonna be able to go down. Oh, she just got a free hit on me because I was busy finishing that guy off. Fucking hell. Mom then, you little... Yeah, there you go. Bitch. Bitch! Cool. Yeah, that's bad. We remember that now. Um, wait, have we looted the other guy? Did we do? Yeah, we did the both. Good work. Um, righty-ho. Uh, I'm just... I'm going to be quite, like, brazen. Oh. Oh. He might be the perfect opportunity. Hello? No, okay. How do I get the zoom? How do I how do I scope? No, that's quick turn. How do I s Oh Who's noticed me? Who's noticed me? Oh, you've noticed me, hello. I did not even scan you, I didn't even know you existed. They're not the most, like, observant, the Zombles. Which, I don't know if that's, like, a byproduct of becoming Zombles. Have you noticed me yet? I feel like you should have, but you haven't. Right, you're, you're as good a reason as any to try this bad boy out. Can't seem to find the scope, which apparently there is. I'm going to check the controls. I'm, I'm doing it. Why can't I scope? I'm going to turn aim assist off. Just because it feels a bit cheaty. 
control settings. Oh, controls, there you go. Aim, scope in if equipped. L1, okay. I assume while I'm aimed. No, that just brings up the scanner. Oh my god, that just didn't do anything, did it? Like, he wasn't even remotely bothered. Alright. Alright! Oh, hello, anyone behind me? Let's just check. No, we're Gucci. Are you just gonna... Oh my word! Oh lord, he coming! Yeah, well that was disappointing. Crossbow Bell, you know, didn't even... Didn't even go through that man's skull. I feel like... I don't know if I feel like it should have. I don't think I'm going to be able... At least he's got crossbow bits at bolts anyway, so that kind of, like, uh, justifies the use. I almost was certain that it, it told me there's a scope across... To the, uh, uh, a scope across... A scope equipped to the crossbow. I just can't fucking get it to work. Oh my god, you are, You just got one shot. This guy was, like... This guy was out here fucking, like, fighting his hardest, making life tough for me, and you just came along like a little bitch and got bipped once and your head exploded. Gosh, I'd be disappointed if I was him. I'm very disappointed in myself. Okay. God, we're already 16 minutes into this video, and I have done absolutely bugger piss all. I didn't even really looted anything. Just sort of wandered about aimlessly. Sorry, I'm just trying to ch test the directional sound, see if the directional sound is actually... Because I got all my... Oh, jeez. Because the directional sound, uh, if you remember, was messed up. And it was only coming out of... It was coming out of the incorrect ears. Sorry, it was like reverse. Um, and I'm sort of half-heartedly trying to test if that's still the case. Nah, I can't tell. <laughs> can't tell. Ah, we'll just fucking assume. Oh my god, hello. You're in this hole. Oh, yes! No head for you. Oh, yeah. Oh, missed. hi -yo! You should be dead, sir. Yeah, hello. I can see you down there. There we go. Right, have I finally cleared this fucking room? Oh my god, no. There's still one wandering about somewhere. Empty. Empty. Alright, I'm going to walk around with a bit more freedom now, though, because I think I've killed most of them. Um, let's sh yeah, we'll just fucking walk over here and bash this guy in the mouth. Oh, there's two over here, apparently. Hello! Oh, you chubby little... Is that one on the floor? Yes, that's what. Yeah. Is that what it's telling me is a zombie? Yeah, it is. Sorry, but you're coming up on my scanner and making me nervous, so I am gonna, I'm gonna smack your little mouth in. Right. So apparently, uh, are these the two flares that I don't give a shit about. Yes. Is that a door that I give a shit about? I don't know. It's barricaded. Uh, that looks like a door, but not one that works. Um, secrets revealed, mysteries solved, maybe. Aha! We find our way upwards, friends, to glory. Oh, I don't like this. Hello? Oh, you're a little, little zombie. I won't go through there just yet. Oh, I haven't scanned the CCTV box. I need to fucking pay attention for those. Um, he would have tried to do a jumble jumble at me. That's locked. That's locked. I can climb through the fence. Maybe the fucking... Hello? Oh, you're in the barricaded bit. Okay. Ooh, a vent. Nice. So there's all sorts of places I can travel. I can go through that hole. I can go through... Well, obviously, I'm going to go in here. Check this out. Uh, Ravens of D have a a thingamajigger here. Um, oh, that will be relevant later. Um, I was like lining that up, like, oh my god, have I found a 
found a fucking secret. Have I? And then I remembered what that is. Um, that is relevant later in the game. Code blocked. Interesting. Uh, racks both empty. Uh, yeah, that's the documentes. He's got nothing. That rack has nothing. But we will smack him. Yeah. Goodbye, sir. Let's have a read of a newspaper. Uh, it's good to read newspapers and stuff because it keeps you informed. I decoded the Black Prophecy. See, we got these the other way round. That, like the front pages that you see here, the last two newspapers has been reversed. So when we picked up the decoded Black Prophecy, we got the Could Blight Affect House Prices, and we just picked up the Could Blight Affect House Prices one. And we've got this one. Just letting you read. Do, do you think I'm going to stretch? Ron Friedman! Woo! Nice. Cool. He's decoded the Black Prophecy. Nice. Ron Friedman, he's the, he's the guy that we're after. Remove the bar. Done and dusted. I think if, if we hadn't gone in here first and smacked that guy's head in, I think when we removed the bar, he might have gotten up and tried to come kill us. So... Oh, oh my god, Jesus. No, okay, so I've got the headphones on backwards because that, a hundred... Yeah, no, I've got them on the right way. Fuck. I thought I had them on backwards, but I didn't. I had them on the right way. Um, so that, that there then, definitely, I heard the noise coming at me from the right, and he swung at me from the left. So... But, you know, we've sorted it. It's fine. It's fine. We remedy the problems. Can I... Can I not get that out of the way? Because that's barring that door. What the fuck is that? Where are we? Oh, we're back here. Wait, is this like at the start? Yes? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, we're back towards the start. Wait, how did we end up here? I'm so fucking confused. What have I just done? Okay, God, I got myself all turned around there. Um, let's have a quick scan around. Nah, there's stuff all here. I don't actually understand what the point of fucking opening that door down here was. There was pretty much no point to it. Um, right, well, we'll remove the barricades here just for convenience. So let's stay. Let's stay. Let it date. Sorry, I'm not even going to try and get through that coded door. Um, I don't, I don't remember one hundred and ten percent, but I'm pretty sure that coded door is is the whole thing later in the game. That whole thing is the one thing. It's not like that coded door is something separate to the little secret that I tried to show you. Huh. All right, so where is this? Oh, this is just going to be another. I'm just going to drop. No full damage, thank you. Yep, I'll take that. Yeah, this is just the one of the barricaded doors later in the level. Okay. It's, it's useful to open all this shit out, because we know we're going to have to come back here. So it's just useful to open all this crap up. The fact that that secret's there has made it very apparent that we're going to have to return at some point. Oh, fucking hell, I thought I'd fallen. God, these always sort of scare me, these things. They, they make for a, a, a frighten, is what they make for. Um, it's because you get jump scared once um, in, like, a vent, and then it makes you paranoid for the rest of the game that you're going to get jump scared there again which i really like I, I like that this game sort of does that it uses the scares and stuff relatively you sparingly some way into the room. looks like you can jump down through a hole in the ceiling there's a lot of infected in here planks planks infected 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 okay cool um can't get through here, so it looks like we have to I'll go down. I don't really want to just... Yeah, we'll drop onto the boxes, because it's... Yeah, see, if I'd have gone fucking down the ladder, this little motherfucker would have had me. He would have had me for breakfast and dinner. Oh, hello. What am I doing? Yeah, get out of here. Get out of here with your, with your helmet. Your helmet wearing prick. Yeah, I just called you a prick. Yeah. Yeah. How'd you feel about it? Not good. I love the fact this guy just is like, I w eventually running at his ankles in this manner will bamboozle him and he will be defeated. Absolutely not. 
absolutely not. I yo ooh. Oh look at it! Oh dropped down from the heavens and fucked him up. Fucked him up like a bitch. Right, let's put it on baby mode. Just in case there's any more zombies that I will upset. Uh crap wall needs C4. Nice shotgun ammo. Wait. Oh, it's on the thing. Okay, it's not up. Right, just climb down from So there's a couple of zombies in the thing. Some planks I don't really give a shit about. That I need C4 to blow through there. C4 is something you pick up later in the game, in case you haven't figured that out. And we've passed at least one other point where we needed C4 in the um, Victoria Memorial sewers. Um, we saw a couple. We saw one, at least. And I think we saw one in the Queen's Palace, yeah. actually, as well. We saw a place where we would have needed it. Are you alright? Do you feel sick? Are you chewing your fingernails? Oh god, that took you a while to decide you were going to come after me there, didn't it? Oh my god. I'm just going to fucking... Yeah, you lie there while I smack your fucking shit in. While I smack you into the next dimension. This is quite brutal. Is he ever going to die this way? There we go. Ooh. Let's just make sure you didn't have anything on you. Oh, he had some chowlet. I gotta get the chowlet. Give me, give me the chowlet. Nice. Oh, I actually could do refilling my health bar, so I will reuse those couple of bits of chocolate that I picked up. Whammo, blammo, full HP. No problemo, maybe? Nah, don't work. Don't work. Back to the drawing board with that one. Um, I'm not paying very much attention to where I'm going here. Climb on that, get over there to there. Fuck that bint up. Fuck the bint. Yeah, we'll go fuck her up. We'll mess her up first. Madam. Thank you for being chill about the whole thing. I don't know what the point of her is. I don't know. Because I have done this game quite religiously, just being careful, smacking stuff when it needed smacking, you know, not playing too fast and loose with the zombies, just sort of covering my back, any, any zombie that's sort of sat on the ground being a little bitch, I make sure that it's fucking dead. Um, God, I should probably find the junction box at some point. I might run back to the start of the level. I might... I'm not going to give you a whack. Nice. Ooh, ooh. You slip down there. Um, do I give you a little shooty in the, in the face, maybe? I think I do, you know. I'm going to give you a little bit. Sir. Right, you're nicely bit. And you too, sir. I'm going to make sure you're nicely bit. Sweet. For two bullets, I'm okay with making sure that that was safe and easy. Couple of bullets, not bothered. Molotov, nice. Uh, what are you? Now we're talking. Double the barrels for double the gun. Ooh, a shotty and ten shotgun ammo. That's fucking pretty generous. Are you going to have anything in? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Ooh. Did I ever climb through? Yeah, I did climb through the hole in the wall, didn't I? Because that's how I got to here. Okay, just check them. Um... Reached the basement of Ron Friedman's flat. Hmm. Well, you fucking are just disappearing in the walls. That's kind of weird. Bloody hell. I've just realised where you are. That's Ron Friedman's place. All you'll find in there is a soft headed imbecile who turned the ravens away from the truth. If you're going in, be careful. Ron Friedman is a lying sack of shite. Don't believe a word he says. He'll send you off on some wild goose chase. Oh my god, it's quite a lot of me. Mm, don't know if I should be worried. I don't think so, because they're all like pretty standard. Fuck. Sorry, just getting my combat on a little bit here. There we go, that's fine. Yeah, I didn't need to be that worried. The only time you really need to be worried is if they like coordinate their attack. 
Oh, did I actually get what was in you? Oh my god, I can't loot you. There we go. Oh, no room. I should have just chucked the Molotov at these guys. Didn't need to lose the health for it. Ba -ba 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 -ba. I could do the trip home, and luckily that home thing is there. Oh, I'm gonna fucking use it. Hangan ammo, empty infected. Yeah, do you know what? This is a decent spot to end the episode. We're at 30 minutes. We're gonna go uh, run back home, empty my shit, uh, end the episode, probably try and find that CCTV box. I feel like I must have passed it. I feel like I must have. Um, and just not paid attention. I don't pay enough attention searching for those CCTV boxes. Um, especially at the start of an area when I know there will be one eventually. Oh, hello, what are you? Some rhubarb, nice, look at that. Fucking Easter egg. I don't know, probably not an Easter egg. Unlock! Right, yeah, cool. That's this episode. Hope you've all enjoyed it. Hope you've all learned something about yourselves. That's highly unlikely. But, you know, I try, I try. Love you, Lydia. Thinking Dems, like, favourite, subscribe, all that bull. See you next time.